So now we've, we've primed, we've installed, we're ready to go. Now we need to set our pressure. If I want to set my pressure, I hold down mode and set. And I go set point. It is really that simple to set whatever pressure I want to run at. Now because this is water cooled, it is very quiet. So if I increase my pressure, that's sort of the... Um, my, what's my line pressure at? Okay, let's do that again. Set it like we mean it this time. That's physically the, the sound that the unit will make. That is very nice and quiet. Um, question, if when setting, uh, how do you set the point it drops down to? So the, let's say, for example, you've got a, a large pressurized buffer tank in the system after the pump, and you want to use as much of the the buffer tank as possible, how would you go about setting that? Okay, so on that one, I'm just going to set this set point down again because my model doesn't like being set so high. For that one, hold down mode set and minus, and there it is, pressure, uh, pressure fall to restart. Okay, and how low can you set it? Is it a percentage or is it a bar value which you no, can... No, it's a bar value. So you okay. can go all the way down to point 0.1. Okay. So maximum so one bar. One bar, yes. Okay. okay. So it can't go more than one bar drop before it... Turns. And now... Um, so this is giving us real world where we're running. Okay. So we can see our exact amps, our exact flow. That is very nice. So at 11 liters a minute, more or less a normal tap. Okay. Let's 11, see if you bring it down to like 3 or so, just to see how far it will throttle down. From our testing, like a toilet running or something would be at one liter a minute kind of, so we can kind go of thing. Okay, so it'll go down to 0.35 kilowatt. Okay, 